Hi folks, welcome to the first Fusion Friday. Nobody likes videos that ramble. Let's dive in. Somebody sent us a picture of this pot uh, frying pan and said, how would you model that? And at first I kind of thought, hey, no big deal, you know, figure it out, sketch loft. And then I realized I have no idea how to really do this right. And we figured it out and I want to give a special shout out to Ocean Concepts over on the Fusion 360 forum. This is one of the amazing things about Fusion 360. It's the user community around it and the fact that I submitted this uh, request and I have no credibility on the forum and somebody took the time uh, to make a video directly in response to my question. So again, thanks for that and make sure to use the Fusion 360 forum. There are a lot of things that this software needs tweaked on and improved and there's learning to be had. Awesome. First thing we're going to do, create a new component. Always do that folks, at least if you're in the machine world like me. Pan. Activated. I wish they made that more intuitive. That's okay. Hit L for line. And we're going to sketch on this plane right here. And I'm just going to sketch a line about four inches up. Uh, you know, inch and a half is fine. And you know, a lot of times to go quicker, I'll just sketch this L shape and then I'll hit D and I'll dimension it afterward. It's just easier sometimes than relying on snap twos or mid mid sketch dimensions. Now I'm going to go to sketch. Oops, yeah, here we go. Fill it. You could do this once the model is finished, but sometimes it's fun to put them in the sketch. No real difference that I can tell at least. We'll put a 20 or 200 thou fillet and I'll click stop sketch. We've got this shape. What do you do with that shape? Modify, excuse me, <laughs> create revolve. This is like one of my favorite features about parametric CAD is I click that face here and then axis. I'll choose this no selection and I'll click this line right here and look we've got our frying pan almost. It's the, the handle is the hard part for me. Construct offset plane and just bear with me here I'll explain why I'm doing this later. I want to see my original origin so over here turn the light bulb on now See when I hover over here, you can kind of see them. Hold the left mouse button down, and it lets me, actually it's oddly dark. Usually it lightens up a little, but you can see now if I highlight work plane, I'm getting the bottom work plane. And I'm going to say 1.1 inches up. You see now we've created this plane that's about there. I actually want it a little lower. You'll see why again in a second. So if I down here, right click, edit feature, we can go just it to say 0.9. Um, this, by the way, isn't going to necessarily be a perfect pot and pan or frying pan, but I think it's going to help you understand um, how to do it, and that, for me, was the big takeaway. Um, what's interesting is this is less, you know, engineering precision CAD and actually a lot more artistic, which not good for me. Um, I click the line tool, sketch a line. Oops, my fault. Stop sketch. Hit L for line. I need to pick that new plane that we just created. Perfect. And then sketch a line, you know, doesn't really matter how long. And again, thanks to the Ocean Concepts on the Fusion 360 forum for, for helping me understand how to do this. You see we've got this line through the pot pan. I don't know why I keep saying pot. Now mine start getting blown to me. Click up here on this purple create form. Normally this is like verboten for machinists to go into this world. Create pipe. Click on the blue line. We get a pipe. Two things to change. Right here under display mode, click on smooth display. Changes it to that roundish pipe. It's actually not perfectly round, I don't think. And end types. We want to change from open to square. Not intuitive to me because they're not square, but uh, I guess I have to get outside of my comfort zone here. Click OK. We now have a hot dog. Let's fix it. Symmetry. Choose one side here and one side here. See all those little green lines? It's kind of weird to me because that, I don't know, I, not intuitive to me, but that's symmetrical across the part, the left and the right hand side of the handle. Uh, will be symmetrical, which is generally how most fry, frying pans are that I've seen other people use. I don't do a lot of cooking. And last thing we want to do, 
Oh yeah, we want to add. <clears throat> we want to add a line. So modify, insert edge. And if we double click on this edge here, nah, I didn't. Try it again. Okay, so sometimes it puts the edge um, through here, which is what I want. Here, put it on the top. So just drag this thing down. Actually, it doesn't have to be precise. Again, this is where it's weird. Um, you'll see we're, we're about to start sculpting. Um, and click OK. And it's going to be helpful to have more divisions here to control it. So here's what you do. You, a bunch of this modify edit form. And this is, you know, it's cool because when you start to see somebody who knows what they're doing, you see how quickly it can be to get to a form you want. So our pan, it flared out more. So if you grab this line, and you'll notice because it's symmetrical, watch. We can drag it up. We can drag it out. Um, and what I want to do, you, you got to pay attention. The, um, you've got so many different, I don't know, control points here. The arrows, the box, these corners. You can click on lines, faces, actual points. Uh, so t too much control, but that's part of what makes this work. And so we've sort of flattened it out a little, made it a little triangular. You know, let's say where it intersects the pot, we want to pull it down a little. You know, I'm kind of just having fun here. Again, I, I'm not an industrial designer. Um, actually, it wasn't terrible. Okay, and then let's say we want to flatten out this back part of the handle. Um, Great time to talk about the most important selection thing ever in the history of parametric CAD. Dragging a box left to right, notice that left to right only selects what you fully drawn a box around. Go the other way, right to left, selects anything you've touched. Okay. What do we need to do? I want to fix my view here, first of all. And let's, you know, how do I narrow this back into this repeat edit form? Uh, I think it'll be better. Hold down shift. You can select a bunch and drag these in. Okay, that's not what I want because it's going, making an hourglass. So maybe we just do one at a time. No. Let's, how about this? I don't like that. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Remember, it's symmetrical, so we don't want to select, actually don't want to select the left and the right, because it's going to go ahead and do that for us automatically. So this is better. Um, okay, now let's finish it up here. You guys get the idea. Keep playing with that, though. It's pretty darn cool. Modify bridge. Why it's called bridge, I have no idea. You have to select equal faces. So three on the top, three on the bottom. Click OK. We get a hole. Doesn't look very good. Spend a few minutes. Drag it around. Just using this edit tool again. Um, I am not the best example, again, of how to do this, but now that I understand it, it's pretty cool to know that you can do it. It's just a hair too wide there. Uh, not terrible, right, folks? So let's wrap it up. Click Finish Form. There's our sort of handle. Modify Split Body. Body to Split, this guy. Splitting Tool is our pan. Click OK. Now, if you look, we've got three bodies. Two for the handle, one for the pan. Turn that one off. <laughs> See you next Friday.